Hi, this is Emma from TwinGate. In one of our last videos, I demonstrated how to deploy a connector into Microsoft Azure. And I spoke briefly about the fact that you could use that to access your internal databases securely uh, instead of using, say, a VPN. Well, in this video, we're going to look at how to set that up. So I've gone into my lab resource group, which is what I was using earlier. And you'll see I've got a SQL database here. I've also got a SQL Server. So let's just take a quick look at how the SQL Server is configured. If I click on that and look at networking, you'll see that I have disabled public network access, and I have a private endpoint pointing to my lab's uh, resource network, VNet. So how can I get access to this? Well, first of all, let's just verify that trying to connect to this is going to lead us nowhere. So I use DataGrip for my SQL client, but this is going to work just the same if you use SQL Management Studio. I've put my credentials here and my endpoint. And if I try and click Test Connection, uh, it will probably try to do that and hopefully come back with an error. We see here that we received an error message and it's instance specific. Deny public network access is set to yes, which is great. We don't want anyone to be able to brute force our way into our database. So this is exactly what we want. But we do now need access to this uh, database. So how can we get it? Well, it's quite straightforward, actually. We'll just go back here and we copy the host name that we have set here into my clipboard. And I'll go to my Twingate admin console. I'll navigate to the Azure network that I created, and that's where our connector is deployed. And I will click Add Resource. I will type in a label for the resource, and I will paste in the DNS address. So what will happen is when I'm connected to TwinGate, any requests for this DNS address will be routed through the connector that we've got. And therefore, Azure will see that this is an internal connection coming from within the VNet. So I just click Add Resource. I can choose which groups. So if I have DB admins or DBAs in separate groups, I can choose that. If it's coming from, say, Azure AD, we have that integration available. But I'm just going to choose everyone because my little account just has me in it. And once that's done, all I need to do is connect with the TwinGate client. So this is available for Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, Android, etc. But I click on the little icon and I click Login. I get a little browser pop up asking me to, to authenticate. So as soon as I've done that, I get a green tick and I can verify that I should have access to this database now because I can see that test database resource is listed here in my menu. So let's go back to the, the SQL client and test the connection once more. And we can see we've got a success. So we should now be able to connect and access the database as if we were running uh, within uh, the Azure VNet itself. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it easy to follow and useful and would appreciate if you found it useful to actually hit the like button. Thank you very much.